as you can see this is the model here this is the lateral view and this is the posterior view so this uh, yellow one is the cord and these are the nerve roots okay coming out so what do you have to notice here so this is one lumbar vertebra what number it is see this is l5 4 3 2 1 so this is l1 mm, looking at the model so this is the spinous process as you can see this is the spinous process now when you go down till the lamina lamina ends here and here the lamina ends and this is the facet the superior facet of l1 this is the inferior facet of l1 please appreciate the direction of the facet superior and the inferior as you can see the inferior facet is the medial facet is it not and the superior facet is the lateral facet so when you open any surgery and you see a facet capsule you put your instrument medially the part of facet is the inferior facet and the laterally the part of facet is the lateral i mean the superior facet okay now so in between the facets this part is very thick and very important part it is called pars inter articularis if there is a fracture here or while doing any surgery you you know inadvertently you destroy this part so this joint becomes unstable so this is very important part it is very thick even you do a disc surgery you do not violate these structures here and this ridge here is called the mammillary ridge now it is important here in between this just above the facet mammillary ridge usually corresponds to the disc space you see here it will correspond to the disc space here again as you can see here it will correspond to the disc space here so that is also important now coming to the facet joint so this is the facet joint as i told this is the pars articularis. now what is there lateral to the facet joint you go laterally there will get the transverse process okay transverse process because there is no rib so only this much of the space you get and there is no joint with the rib because there is no rib okay and then as i told this spinous process lamina pars facet and facet okay so when you put the screw for example i am putting screw here at this l1 l2 level so what is my entry point of the screw you see this is the facet joint okay this is the pars articularis and the this is the middle part of the transverse process this junction usually you will get a mammillary process here okay you get a mammillary process here and this part is my entry point of my screw you can drill remove this part of the bone you know with upcut or using a drill so then if you look at it see my entry point was here if i keep my pen like this you can see where i am i am at the pedicle i am at the pedicle now what will be my angulation here at l1 level not much of medial angulation kind of around almost straight 5 degree 10 degree 15 degree 20 degree 25 degree so when you come down you add 5 5 degree in addition so basically the medial angulation can be around very less little bit 10 degrees so this much medial angulation is fine so i know my screw will go while putting the screw i should be very uh, careful in not violating any of the borders of the pedicle so by fixation of the pedicle screw of lumbar spine we can achieve a three column fixation we have the posterior column we have the middle column and we have the anterior column so that's why it gives a very rigid you know fixation or stabilization